Let's learn how to create what's in the back game with Active Center 9 in today's video. On the left, as you can see, there is a bag of fruits and vegetables. Learners has to type the names of all the veggies they can see into the text box on the right side. They are limited to a total of 10 tries, and they score one point for each accurate response. Learners will win the game if they answer all six items correctly. Otherwise, they will lose it. Additionally, they always have the choice to restart the game by selecting the reset button at the bottom of the slide. Let's start creating this game now. The three main steps to create this game include preparing resources, designing the game, and adding interactivities. You can open the Resources pane by selecting the View tab, then choosing Resources. Then, drag and drop the prepared audio and image files from your computer into this pane. Moving on to the next section. You sequentially add each object to the canvas. The first thing is to add a background image. Insert a table after that and style it according to your liking. You continue to add six items to the table. Then add the names by inserting text caption. This item can be altered however you like. Rename it. You might first hide these names because they only show up if learners submit an accurate response. Copy and paste this one and then perform the same steps to create the other object names. You should now add a text box where learners can type their responses. You don't need these feedback messages, so delete them. To switch this box to a curved shape, click the Format tab and select Change Shape. You can modify its curve by dragging this white handle. Finally, you have the options to modify the border color and width. You add a description box here by using a text caption. Simply enter text there and change their font, size, color, and other settings. You also add the name of the game here. This game has a reset button at the end of the slide. By clicking this button, the game can be restarted from the beginning. The slide should now include the two and four icons. Either of the two icons will show up each time the learner submits an answer. As a result, you must first hide them by right-clicking, then selecting Initially Hidden. Here you come to the final and also most important step. You mostly work with the text box in this step. Therefore, let's start by adding the correct values to this question. You enter all the air grid values in these fields Set it attempts to 10 after that. 
uncheck the case sensitive checkbox to allow both lowercase and uppercase letters. To handle the uppercase and lowercase letters equally, you will need to utilize a text variable and some code in the event action section. Therefore, you insert a text variable here with the name object. Additionally, use a number variable to check the possible scores for learners. Once learners have completed the game, one of the two feedback messages, correct or try again, will appear. So now you customize these two feedback messages. First, modify the correct feedback layer, which appears after the learner answers all six items correctly. Clicking this button allows the learner to replay the game. So, you add the restart presentation action to the on-click event of this button. You can also add some music for this feedback. Just open the resources pane, then drag the chosen audio file into the canvas. Similarly, you make changes to the try again feedback layer. You close this feedback master views once everything has been complete. Go back to the normal view. Now you add event actions for this tech entry object. You should first remove all unnecessary events and actions. Add the text enter event after that. This event is used to display the names of the items that learners have correctly, regardless of the letter form. Therefore, you must include an execute JavaScript action in this. Then, employ the object variable you previously created to display the names. For the on correct event, you need to add five actions. Play an audio if the learner types an item's name correctly. Show the tick mark. Clear user input after the learner has typed in the answer. Add one point to the score variable. And finally, show the correct feedback layer if they answer all six items accurately. Likewise, you add four actions to the on incorrect event except for the adjust variable action. Finally, you add the restart presentation action to the on-click event of the reset button. Optionally, you can change the mouse cursor image when hovering over this button. You have finished creating what's in the back game. Let's see the result now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.